Swatch, Swatch your collection. Ba -da -da. Look, I'm an Urban Alliance sweatshirt. Alright, so this is going to be a video on all my sweatshirts I own. It's like a collection of my sweatshirts now. There is a lot here. And some are from recent and some are from like probably like two, three years ago just because I like them and I kept them. So I'm going to show you every sweatshirt and where I got it. Some you won't be able to get because they're like school sweatshirts and discontinued ones. Some you can find on eBay though if you like the sweatshirt. But most of them are pretty good older summer new so I'll start with this one it's still a little wet but this sweatshirt I recently got at H&M so this is really new I just got this like last week almost it's probably a week and it is the strike 20 from the log classics and they make the best sweatshirts and it just says Wilshire University 1993 when I was I was born around that time so but that's kind of cool too and striped sweatshirts they don't really aren't really um you don't really see those that often so and I wanted it and it will probably go with I don't know whatever I wanted to go with and then this sweatshirt is a green Okay, I wanted this before, but I, I lost out because I didn't have it when I wanted it and I forgot about it. Then I looked on eBay like a year or two later and I saw it. It's a small and they just had a discontinued sweatshirt and it's really soft and it's a pretty green. And I'm sure they might still have some online but it's not like the cheapest because you have to pay like thirty dollars it's discontinued so it'll charge a lot but it's really soft green I don't know if they call it the forest green or what but yeah this is another sweatshirt and it's old it's like probably like uh, maybe over a year old, maybe two. This is one of those Hollister surf clubs, and it's blue and green. I think I had a medium because I don't like sweatshirts that are that tight. So I just wore this recently today, so it's really nice. Saw. Sweatshirts, a lot of sweatshirts. Okay, this one I got for um just cause I wanted it. It was at Old Navy like three years ago. It's kind of like one of those summer sweatshirts almost. It has cool colors in it, so then you could like wear it with like any solid like orange top or pink or white or the teal color that's in this and. I think it's pretty cool. It's just, you know, hard to see. It's just like straight, kind of. It's just simple. Oops. <laughs> this, I just got recently. I saw like others, and I wanted another one, but they stopped selling them. But I think they're selling another type of design again. And it was a Hollister. It's like the gray one. And I got an extra small because they do come big. And it's like leaving friendly. And it's the softest thing ever. It's not more of a sweatshirt material. It's more like a cottony. Like, I don't know. It's big, kind of. And it fits great. And it spells Hollister, but it's abbreviated. And so. And it's black and gray, so cool. This I bought, I think it was last, close to this year, but it was last year. 
It's a gray, just simple sweatshirt, and it's like long. So it's like a big sweatshirt, and it came from H&M with basics, and you can just wear it with like leggings, which is really cool. It's like one of those big shirts, you know, that they used to wear in the 80s, but it's like a sweatshirt. I got it, and I thought I didn't like it, but then I grew on it, and it's really soft, and I've worn it a ton of times. This is from Teespring and I got this um, during summertime before I went on vacation and it just says just a Wisconsin girl in a Michigan world so I thought that was pretty cool because I was from Wisconsin and now I'm like in Michigan so I was like oh I have to get that because I miss Wisconsin so much and then it's soft. It was cheap. I think it was only like around twenty dollars or so. And Teespring's a good site. Cause you can like make something and then you do like a campaign if they sell enough then it will be available to you, so and then <coughs> So this, I got on eBay, somebody was just selling it, and I found one of one of these sweatshirts, it's a kind of an older style, but it's just a Kelly Hicks sweatshirt, and this is Sydney Sealing Club on it, 1932, and obviously, Kelly Hicks really isn't popular anymore, it's kind of dying, so, sadly, but when I found out about it, it was couple years ago but then I guess they went out here and they haven't been out that long so <sighs> okay. this I got I think in my senior year three years ago and it's um from Air Apostle and I still love it and I keep it I'm never giving it away and it doesn't look like it's really that old it's surprising even though we're all the time it's like a Coat. It's just like a sweater coat, and they had gray, but I really, really wanted blue because I like blue. It's like so cool. And I thought you could maybe find this on eBay. I'm not sure, but it fit good, and I got it in a small because I don't want them to be like tight on me. So I got last year. I think they're having like free shipping, or maybe they weren't. But this is an item where you have to buy it online. I thought, oh, I need a, you know, a zip up because I don't really have any zip ups really, and I needed one. So it's still cold out. It's like almost spring. And then when I got it, I'm like, there's no pockets. I'm like, that's so weird. Now of course it has like this on the back, but it kind of gets annoying because it's hard to deal with those all the time. The same points, if you have to itch, it's like to come off. So I don't think any of them really have come off. I don't know. So <laughs> this I got here in Michigan. And a couple, there's a couple places that sell these, and got this at Grand Haven. And they don't make these colors anymore, but the guy was still selling it, and it says, Don't mess with the mitten. This is MI right there. The mitten, it shows the mitten. And so I thought that was cool. And I got one the year before, and it was a dark blue one, the classic. And this is what it looks like. It's just, you know, don't mess with the mitten. There's the M, there's the mitten. And I thought that was cool. And it was like soft, only twenty dollars and then you can go around with the crew next for twenty dollars. It's like really good. And cotton too. Right. 
this sweatshirt I got in my senior year. Now look who got these surprisingly bad. Wearing that a little bit. I still wear it today. It says senior 12, 2012 class of, yeah. It says stuff, but it's fading, sadly. At least the letters are still there, so you know. Somewhat. It's just gray, and I like gray a lot. This I recently got for Christmas, and it's a comes off from the addicts. And of course, you don't know, know what that is. It's like say it was like sports stuff, like sweatshirts and things. And so got the Ohio State one. It was a really good deal. I think it was like nineteen at the time. It was like really expensive, so I got this for a really good deal. And it was just so great because I have another one and it's like really old and I think the letters somehow turned pink. So I'm just like, I need to get so bad. And I had to get a medium because they need to be a size up because they get really small. So that's a really cool material too. This I got for this fall, and I love it too. It's it's from H and M. I love H and M. It's from the Lug Classics, and it just says New York on it, and it's kind of a little short. I don't really know, but I was like, couldn't get a size bigger because it wouldn't fit on top. So it was supposed to be a little bit short, but it's just really soft, and it says New York on it, and it's. I was maybe an element and I've worn it so many times. It doesn't look like I have done. This I got on a sale a couple of years ago. And it's a Gilly Hicks sweatshirt. It's really nice. It's red. And I thought, oh, for Christmas, that'd be so cool. And it just says Rose Bay Gilly Hicks 1932. And it's really soft, it's cotton. Again, I love that actually. <laughs> Why the sweatshirt here? This I got in addition to the live classes for the first sweatshirt I got from them. I thought that they were really nice. This one I got in extra small, so that. It will be a fashion hoodie, you know, and I could wear it. And it would just be for fashion. But then, it's like a paisley pin. But, I didn't want an extra small in the new one I got. Because it's like so tight, but I still love it. It's the coolest thing ever. I bet you could find this like an eBay or something. It's really pretty. This is just like a regular blue sweatshirt. It says CTC. And it's a claw on the back. And it was just, I got it from the tech center I went to the school. And I like that. So I keep it. This I got two years ago, I think. It was from Aeropostal. And it looks like. It's only half sick by saw back then, and so I never had one, and it's just a little dream. And it's obviously teal. I wish I would have got this bigger because I don't like how it's short and annoying. We have to keep pulling at it, and it's just in. Yeah. But I still love it. I thought about selling it once, but I don't think I'm going to. Ugh. This I 
like that on Black Friday and it was like really cheap. I think it was like 20. And I don't really have a gray sweatshirt at all. So I got this and I was just like, wow, oh, this is great. And it's just this hollow shirt and it's soft. And let me see, I love that. This, I think I got in the 11th grade and I kept it because I don't know why I love it, but it's just cool. It's from Air Force, so it has a little go all over it. It's just like, oh, I love it. Um, I've kept it ever since. is coming this. It's like surprising. Alright, so this is something that I got on Etsy a while ago and it was only like twenty dollars. I thought well, that's a really good deal for something homemade like this. And it says okay okay on it and you know what that means and you'll probably look this. So fault in your stars Somebody just made these and I thought, oh, I have to have that and I love it so much. It's just a small and it fits really good. Yes, I got two years ago and it's from Hollister and it has yeah, roller skates on it and it's really cool. We like glittery and I think it'll be hard to see that. They have like, it's like pink and light pink and then the laces are like blue. And then it obviously has a zipper on the sides to go up. And this one just didn't fit me that well because I should have got an extra small. It's not like a regular sweatshirt, but I didn't, so. Hmm. This sweatshirt I got from my uncle, and he owns the company Beaver, and it's big because it's in a medium. I wouldn't wait to get one, so and it's cool because the print he um when they make the sweatshirts, they, they embed them into the color, so it mixes in. It says Beaver. Beaver research. It's like pink. This is a sweatshirt that I got from somebody on my um right I open house which has stripes on the sleeves and just is Wisconsin. And they must have had it from like when they went to school there, obviously. And they know that I lived there, so. Oh, I love that. I do. Second to last sweatshirt. This is. Um. It's from Gilly Hicks. We had a sale, and I thought, you know what, why not? The shipping is kind of bad though, but it's like, well, you know, I'll go for it. And I tried to get the, what's it called? The coral one. That I like, don't have any coral sweatshirts. I still don't, but then when I noticed it was wrong, I was trying to change it, but they didn't change it, so I kept it because I didn't want to spend time doing a speed exchange. And so it came in light, and I don't want to get light because it's dirty, but it's just a zip up. And yeah, it just says GH. And then it says Beach. Finally, Beach on there, and look, oh, that was so cool. And then it's like there's something in here. 
Yep. Oh, I switch it again. Is <laughs> my old see switch it again? Probably three. It's probably four years ago. Maybe more than that. And it's really old. I don't know why I still have it, but I'm just doing it. Of course, sadly, the letters, they went pink. We like pink and, and not really like pink that much. So, yeah. So, how many switches do you think I have? Um, one, two, hmm, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot. I was supposed I was supposed to keep track, but I didn't. So I think head down here. 11 and then 17 so you can figure that out because I don't feel like figuring it out yep and so that's all the switches I have I do have two others but the thing is just I no one wants to see my work sweatshirt and then I have one I got from my ex and it's like a really giant ferris one I don't know and besides that that's all I have for now. Hopefully, I don't know. There might be one that might pop up from like five years ago. It still need to be washed. So that's it for now. If you want to like share anything else, I can because I have a lot of clothes. Yep. Well, I also forgot to say that I'm getting another sweatshirt in the mail in my size and get one of those spongebob sweatshirts from forever 21 it says artist only with squidward i actually got the guys one at the store and i was gonna go exchange it at my forever 21 so i went to 12 volt small and saw that and then i didn't know that they had an extra small until later but then i tried to return it at mine they didn't have that they weren't selling it, so ordered that online, and too bad I don't have it because it's a really cool sweater. You should look up the Spongebob collection on Forever 21 because it really is cool. Right.